Hi, my name is Stan Gross and welcome to this uh, video. I've been working with PI process orchestration for over 10, 11 years. And one of the things I've often been doing is teaching people how to do message mappings. And message mapping is quite cool. You can do some really extraordinary things in it. But it really centers on if you understand some of the concepts about it. How do we test what we have done? How do we make sure that everything we have done works as we want it to? But before we can do that, we need to figure out how do we handle the cues and context in our mappings. Because if we don't under really understand this concept, we would have a hard time making efficient, fast mappings that, that really works and is easy to maintain. So that's why I created the, the PI course on mapping. And this is message mapping, there's uh, operation mapping we'll go into, there's Java mappings, there's XSLT mapping, because this is some of the tools you must have as an extraordinary developer. And I know a lot of you guys want to take the next step and become a lot better developers on PI. So I, I encourage you to, to check it out. Click the, the, the link below the video or go to picourse.com forward slash mapping and see this training video and see what you can get on it. Um, it's really, uh, the most comprehensive program on message mapping and I do hope you would uh, check it out. So until we meet again, goodbye.